Uh, hi, I'm Brian Desberg uh, with Sutter Health. Uh, we're based in Northern California. Uh, four data centers, uh, two own, two colo, about 45,000 square feet. Uh, been using Enlight for about five years, uh, for about 600 or so racks. Um, I also run our disaster recovery program, so there's a lot of value there in using uh, uh, Enlight, and we can probably talk about that later, just this introduction. But uh, um, also run Smart Hands, um, which is rack and stack, we call it Smart Hands. Um, and uh, uh, also, I would mention that uh, just recently, um, we used Enlight to do a true up with our financial uh, services uh, organization. They, had, they didn't really know all the hardware that we had, what their age was, and uh, they wanted to figure out how they could start or um, finish depreciating uh, that those assets. So that was uh, really beneficial and a huge uh, uh, cost uh, optimization initiative. We have a virtualization first policy. Um, so how do you track VMs? Well, you can do it in vCenter, but what we did with Enlight is we tied it into vCenter. So not only do we track the physical hosts, but each night, midnight, I think we do it, um, uh, we, sh we, we share the data across the, the two tools so that not only can we see the physical hosts, but we know where those virtual hosts are. Um, the other one is the cable piece. So I'm responsible for disaster recovery. Um, knowing how we can, we would have the, we, we have the ability to pick a particular piece of hardware, drill into it, and see what it's connected to, not just to the network, but we can then span it out and see we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of systems that share data, um, storage databases, you name it. So we can see that complexity through how the environment is is cabled and connected. Most recently is um, lifecycle management, right? <laughs> so um, it was pretty non-existent and uh, a lot of legacy hardware. Um, so, you know, not only did we have to take, take the legacy hardware and, and take those massive spreadsheets or, you know, it was in somebody's head and get that into the tool and then start tracking the life, the life of those assets, but, you know, net new is very beneficial because I mentioned in my, in my introduction how we've been working with finance and making sure that we're, that we're uh, accurately depreciating all the hardware so that they know not only when it's end of life, but when it actually starts its life. Is that why asset life cycle is so important? Because yeah. accounting wants it or? Accounting wants it. Um, and it, you know, it's, I mean, we all want to have, we all want to make sure that, that we're not using old hardware, right? We want to go out and, and refresh that hardware, get the, get the better processors, the faster speeds. Um, and get the old legacy, legacy hardware out of the data center. I used a DR case study uh, when we were looking at, at Enlight. And we had the spreadsheets, but we didn't know, and we, we, knew, we knew what hardware we had, but we didn't know where it was. We didn't know what was on it. We didn't know what it was running. And we, and, and we didn't, we, we had, we were tiering applications, right, from a criticality perspective. Tier zero being, you know, the underlying infrastructure that makes everything run and secure. Tier one, our most critical applications for, for healthcare was patient safety, um, patient experience. And what we were able to do is, is take all that, put it into the tool, and one of the most interesting things that we saw was some of our most critical applications were all in one area of the data center, all being fed off the same UPS. And so if we had, God forbid, some sort of an outage, then that would be a huge issue for the, for the organization. So what it, what it was able to do is to tell us, and we could look at Enlight from a top down, from the data center top down, and we could say, where are all our critical tier one apps? Oh, here they are. Oh, look, there's a, there's a big blob of them right here. We better spread that out. We gotta put some over here because if we were to have an issue here, it would take down, you know, 25% um, of our most critical services to our patients. Um, first of all, Enlight, um, 
they, you guys helped me build the case studies. I mean, you have enough experience now with, you know, 350 plus customers. Um, I needed to have concrete examples and case studies that I could apply and basically fill in the blank, change the name. Um, that was that was a critical piece for me to get in front of with the C-suite. Um, and then uh, even five years ago, I think uh, um, it was VMware. Uh, you guys connected me with, with VMware. They're, they're uh, an Enlight customer. Uh, spent a lot of time with, with um, uh, their, their VP, or I don't remember who he was now, or what level he was. But, uh, you know, we can go on and on with examples. I got another 50 different examples of how, uh, how we utilize the tool. So I would, I would leverage the, the customer base and, and your sales and, uh, and your engineering team for sure.